What's up everybody? Well, it's a nice beautiful overcast Sunday and today I'm heading to the dart station here in Irving and I'm gonna do a test run on how to get to the American Airlines Center because later this month I got a Rockets game versus Mavericks uh, and a game to go to and I gotta go check it out so I gotta make sure I get on the right train go the right direction and, uh, and make sure you know how to pay because I haven't done this in years and a lot has changed since then and actually I just missed the first train as I was pulling up to the parking lot so now I gotta wait for the next one which I think it's it arrives here at 1145 so just a few more minutes now if you're new and curious about how the dart station works well there's several ways to get the tickets you can pay using that Go app, the Go Pass app, which I just did. And for a local uh, ride, it's $6. So not too expensive. It's great and it, and it serves all of the Dallas area. Uh, you can expand it to Fort Worth and it'll cost you a little bit more. Not only the app, you can also use the stations, the pay stations that are here at each station. And actually this station here will take you this is the orange station, or the orange line, sorry. And this will take you directly to DFW Airport, uh, which is not too far from here. And the other direction that way will take you to downtown, downtown Dallas. guys so I finally made it to Victory Station and it took me approximately 40 minutes to get from Irving Station all the way to Victory Station and just kind of show you where on the map I'm at so this is where I started and I went all the way through these stops all the way here to Victory Station here now Victory Station connects the TRE the yellow the orange line and the green line and the green line takes you to all different directions as well so right now this is where I'm at this is where I'm going to focus on kind of show you around and then later on I'm, after I'm done I'll go right back up and take another 40 minute drive or 40 minute ride from Victory all the way back to Beltline now when I first moved here none of this was here these buildings these garages it was just the station and the the arena that's back there that we're gonna walk up into in a minute and all this train station was here it did exist here a few years ago so this is all good it's been here for a good while but the garage is here and the garage that's here and the building that's up front right here um, that's all new that's all new in the last maybe four or five years so when I come to games here, whether it's for the Stars or Rockets or Mavericks games that, that come visit here, I, I could take my car. That's not a problem. Um, it's not that much of a drive. What the problem is, is the parking. Getting back, getting into this area here and trying to get a parking space is hell. You don't want to do it. You want to avoid it at all costs. You want to park somewhere else further down and take the train and it'll be cheaper. It'll be cheaper as well because the train ride from where I was, you know, when I started all the way here is $6. Parking here is going to cost you starting $20 and up. Parking at these garages here, even, even the other one that I parked at before, you do not want to park in these garages because it, it is hell to get out of it. It takes nearly an hour and a half to two hours to get out of a parking garage because there's no organization how to get out first come first serve get out and that's it and then once you hit the streets it's another hell to try to get out of the city all this green area is really nice this is all new this is this is the first time i'm seeing this so it's a really nice touch than having just concrete 
you know, as your as a as your welcoming mat, right? All these steps, the stairs, the green area, the pathway. This is fantastic. This is a great look for downtown Dallas, which really needs it badly. So here's American Airlines Center, home of your Dallas Mavericks and Dallas Stars, and many other events that show up here. I've been here for some Disney events. I've been here for hockey games. I've been here for basketball games. And uh, it's, a, it's a great arena, man. I got nothing bad to say about it. And as you can see, when you take the train station, the train station is right there and the arena is right here. You just walk up straight to it. There's no maze to get in, to, to go through, to get there. You, you step off, you step in into the arena. It's a fantastic setting, the way they got this. So the next area I'm going to take you to now and show you around is called Victory Park. And here we have some shops and some restaurants and some bars that people can go to before or after a game or even during a game. And sometimes when there's a playoff run going for either the Mavericks or the Dallas Stars, uh, they'll have a watch party. And I believe they put the game on like the big screen against the wall. So it's a nice setting. It's a very cool setting for the people of Dallas uh, to support their team. The one thing that sucks right now about not having my car and being able to drive wherever I want to and stop wherever I want to is that when you got to go to the restroom, I got to find a place to go. <laughs> and when you got to go, you got to go, right? All right, I'm in Victory Park right now. They got the water, the splash area running right now. So you'll probably hear that over my voice a bit. But here we are, we're in Victory Park. And like I said, there's a big screen right there. And right now they're just showing ads because hey, it's morning time, it's the afternoon. There's no games going on right now when it comes to basketball or hockey. And there's some restaurants here, some businesses. Uh, it's Sunday afternoon, so there's really nothing going on right now. But this gives you an idea of what's here. There's the Chop Shop Victory Park location. There's the hanger if you're looking for any kind of jerseys, t-shirts, caps, anything you can think of when it comes to the Dallas Stars and the Dallas Mavericks. And if you're looking for some tickets to the games, there's a ticket vendor right here, right on the spot, man. Here's the Hero and restaurant and bar where people, you know, if you want to drink, there you go. If you want to eat, come here. Now, if you're a, a fan of the Dallas Mavericks, you know the legendary dirt. And they actually made a statue, which is, again, one of the first times I'm seeing it because I haven't been down here in a while. So, pretty cool. Pretty uh, big statue, not just your typical, you know, guy standing there. Let me show you. Now, Dallas has been known for being big money, right? There's a lot of money here in Dallas. A lot of, uh, there's no other way to say, uppity up people here. And if you got the money, you can stay right across from the stadium at the W. And these are one of the most fanciest hotels you got here in downtown Dallas. And just far over there by my finger, there's the Cine Cinepolis Luxury Cinema. I've never been there. One of the other new locations that I just noticed today, this is new to me. All right, so now I'm gonna go across to South Victory, which is this whole uh, nice area of Victory Park and see what's all new here because a lot has changed since the last time I've come here and let's uh, let's all check it out together
check out this uh, fancy movie theater that they got here. And it's not even on the first floor. We gotta go up a uh, few flights of uh, escalators here. Holy cow! It's not even the second flight of escalators yet. You gotta go a third one. And we're not there yet. Another flight of escalators. Looks like we're finally here. Let's see how much these are. Eh, typical prices, pretty normal. their businesses here. I have no idea. Yeah, this was much faster taking the elevator than the escalators. Definitely do that and recommend it. around a little bit kind of showed you around south victory and the regular victory park and uh, i think it's time for a drink i'm gonna go down to this place first time ever gonna go in there and let's go check it out all right guys time for me to go after three drinks and a thing of chips and queso i think it's time to go home all right, hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.